So this is a challenge where you even get to create it. Watch Mr. George put his own waffle into his kitchen sink. Very nice, very nice. Good job, George, you did it. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. We're back at Chris's Ice Cream. Uh, today we're going to do the ice cream challenge. It's called Kitchen Sink Ice Cream Challenge. So it's a big, massive ice cream. Uh, it's like maybe like eight-ish pounds. Apparently it's been getting bigger over the history of the challenge. You have 10 massive scoops of ice cream, which are bigger than a softball. You have enough whipped cream to kill you. That is the exact words of the restaurant owner. You also have waffles multiple toppings so let's head on in they make all their ice cream here apparently it is very very heavy and fatty but it should be good here with the good old mr george chigger the smorgasbord himself we're going to do the challenge together that we are uh, move your hat can't see you oh. there you go ready for ready for some ice cream my man i'm here oh yes i am so anyway let's head on in and uh let's go eat all right everybody george ready my man ready all right so let's get started we'll save count of five Four, three, two, one. Let's eat some ice cream. I started right on the second. Good luck, guys. Thank you. After tasty waffle. Told you it was good. <laughs> the whipped cream in this place is the best whipped cream I've had, oh hands my. down. It's like straight cream. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Krish's Ice Cream in Massapequa, Long Island, New York. Excellent location, the, all the ice cream is made there, as well as all the chocolates and all the confectionaries which may end up within the ice cream itself. Everything tasted exceptional, you could really taste the quality, it's a really thick, creamy ice cream, kind of like you get in a Ben & Jerry's or something. This is sort of my first kitchen sink ice cream challenge, and it was about 8 to 10 pounds. First bite was super good. The pistachio ice cream is like off point. And that's the honest truth. I honestly can't say enough about the quality of this food. It was absolutely excellent. Again, just the ice cream and everything. All these flavors went really well together. Their previous record was apparently about 20, I want to say four minutes. I believe that was held by Mr. Wayne Alginio. Prior to that, Randy had the record at about 28 minutes. So I'll let you get to the rest of it. I hope you continue to enjoy this ice cream with me and we'll have to see what happens. This was a big one and I uh, uh, won't say if we end up finishing it or not. So I'll let you get to it and I hope you enjoy. So about maybe like three and a half minutes in, three minutes, going really well. I got a bit left. George has, I think, even less than me. And it's delicious. I recommend it. Come on down and try it. I've never had ice cream which actually tastes like cream before. Exceptional. Six minutes 
finish her shove. I only have about a bite left. George, well over know. half done. Yeah. Oh, the chops of chocolate in the ice cream. I got a chocolate chip mint. Like, it's candy bars. Yeah, that's why I just want yeah, that. that's insane. It's very hard, but like, just because it's full. Really good though. <laughs> That's crazy, and as fat as I am, I can't put that away like that. No way. No way. No way. Wow. Like, I, I need to know how to make something like that happen. Like, how can I make that happen with me? Like, oh I, 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 how can I make Listen, you gotta ask them. They don't as fat as I am, I cannot eat that like that. <laughs> you gotta train yourself, that's it. Water, yeah, fiber, a whole type of stuff. All right, so in all reality, I'm done. I'm just trying to, like, scrape the bottom. Jesus. But, anyway. So that everybody, probably about seven and a half, seven minutes into the show. No, like 15. Yeah, about seven fifteen or so. Now we're tuning to George. He's just finishing up here. Absolutely delicious ice cream. You guys, I know when even even close. That's to, exactly. And I'm going to continue to lick the ball. They're not even close to the. Say, uh, I live in Canada, so I grew up in the harsh Canadian wilderness. I think it's how chopping heat, you know? <laughs> and the air I breathe is so cold that, like, ice cream is just uh, warm to me. <laughs> is it that? But no. No. Whatever. Right. <laughs> Makes it a little awkward with my George just finished himself. All right. All right, so just finished that challenge. Super delicious. Like, the ice cream was just exceptional. Literally, like, I can't even come to fathom how good that ice cream was. So about seven and a bit for myself. We have about 12, 12 minutes for George? Yeah. About 12 minutes for George. So with that, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. George, how'd you find the ice cream challenge? Delicious. Yeah, it was like... <laughs> So good. Hands down, some of the best ice cream I've ever had. I agree. Look at me. I've had plenty of ice cream. <laughs> so that, everybody, huge thank you to Krish's ice cream here. Uh, yes, thank you. In Massapequa, Long Island. Like, exceptional staff, exceptional Scott, food. Scott, Chris, man, awesome. Yeah, the owners are the best. Like, huge thanks to them. It's about to rain, so we're actually going to, like, get move on. But that, everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. Yeah, check, make sure to check out George's stuff. He should have a YouTube channel up by now. If not, he has something coming really soon. His info will be in the description. The man can eat. He's a myth. And he's awesome. So thank you. All right, so huge thanks again to Christian's Ice Cream and their huge generosity. I asked what the heck a chocolate-covered pickle tastes like, and they gave us some chocolate-covered pickles. So these things are massive. They are like, it's like, I don't know, quarter pound, half a pound. It's, it's big. Super heavy. Look at this beast. Big. And it smells like pickles, so I'm gonna give this a go. Let's see what it tastes like. Uh, so, cheers, George. Cheers. Chocolate-covered pickles. I smell it. It's like, right, so the chocolate's really good. They make the chocolate here. So I like the chocolate. The pickle is definitely a. Uh, it's a good pickle. It, yeah, it's a very weird aspect to taste together. It's not what I thought. It was not what I was expecting. No, not at all. Very tasty though. I think the chocolate takes the bitterness right, right away from the pickle. Mm. Yeah, so it's like kind of like a pickle, but it's not acidic because the chocolate is so I don't know, like fatty and creamy. It's really weird. It is good. It's pretty weird. Would you eat the other one? 
I'll probably eat another one, not today, but when I come back, I'll try it again. I think I'd prefer better separated, like chocolate and then, then pickle separate. Two hands. It was good though. Vic, you want to try? No. Yeah. <laughs> well, that everybody. So <laughs> next time, I hope you enjoy. Huge thanks to my friend, Mr. George Chigger. I was a huge thanks to Mr. Vic. Vic's an awesome friend here in Long Island. And that. Let's get on with some more eating. Yeah.